Jared Harper, point guard from the Phoenix Suns, has been signed to a two-way contract to the New York Knicks. Some Knicks fans might remember him as the guy who destroyed us in Summer League. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> 5'11", 6'5", wingspan. He was giving RJ and Mitch fits. You would think, oh, fun runs of Mitch. Mitch can block him. But no. Uh, <laughs> he can nah. turn his body, do some weird layup off the glass, the first English and Spanish, and it would go in. Yep. <laughs> what do you think about Jared Harford, man, in this game? All right, well, first and foremost, I'm just going to read off his G League stats, which are pretty good. Yes, you know. Sir. So, in the G League, Harper averaged 20.8 points a game mm. on 41% shooting from the field. Score. 36% from three. Mm. He shot 79% from the line. 2.8 rebounds a game. 5.7 assists per game. Not bad. And he had one steal per game. Oh. And the thing with Jared Harper is, like, First and foremost, like, I've seen a guy play at Auburn, and I was a fan of his. Like, I really liked this game in Auburn. The, he can shoot the three. Mm-hmm. He, can break, he can break people off the dribble. He can get to the rim, finish at the rim. Like, he showed it in the G League against the Knicks. I mean, we had Mitch back there, and my, and my dude was still finishing at the rim. Yeah, man. That way, it didn't matter. And the thing is that, like, a, pe- a lot of people are, like, scared of his height, you know, because he's 5'10", 5'11", but dude got 6'5", wingspan, and dude got crazy hops. Yeah. On top. So it's like he makes up for his lack of size with athleticism. So I feel like he he, he has a lot of upside, you know. So I I, I like I I'm, I'm me personally I do um I'm with the Knicks signing him. Like I feel like he's a good pickup. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people feel like he's a good pickup. And you know the thing is too, like he is guy with shorter stature. He's 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 a solid dude. He's a solid dude. Yeah. He's very fast too, and like we said, six and a half wingspan. And the thing I like about him is too, even though he's a, sh- a short guy, he plays defense hard. He doesn't really quit on any plays. He plays passing lanes. He pressures the ball. So I I like his his game all around. Also, it seems like he's really good in pick and roll situations. Yeah. Something that would help benefit people like Mitch. And the three point shooting is is decent. It's de- more better more better. It's better than anything any guard is giving us right now from three. Yeah. So you definitely have to consider uh Jared Harper as a potential guy to st- a steal a roster spot. Just come mm-hmm. when Yellington can get over for him. <laughs> 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 My thing is though, a lot of people are really hyped about Jared Harper. You know. I, you know, it's the off season. We get hyped about small stuff sometimes. Yep. But there is another G League sniper. On, yes, sir. On the Knicks already. On the Westchester Knicks. Killing it. Lamar Peters. Crazy. Yep. Nice season last season. He had like a game where he had 19 assists. Yeah. Yeah, he had a game where we hit 10 three-pointers in a single game. Shoots 50% from the corner threes. This guy is nice. What do you, what can you make in the Lamar Peters, man? All right, so I'm going to read Lamar Peters stats right quick in the G League. So in the G League, he averaged 17.8 points a game mm-hmm. on 42.5% field goal shooting, 40% from three. 70% from the free throw line, average 2.8 rebounds a game, average 3, 7.3 assists per game, and 1.4 steals a game. And Lamar Peters, like, he's basically a dude that he fills it up at the point guard position. Like, dude can really knock in the three. Dude has a mean step back game. <laughs> he beats dribble, then go, then go with the step back three. Butter. Um, he also tries on defense as well, which is also nothing I like about him. He's not he's not a lazy defender. Not a lazy he does, defender. does give effort on the defensive end. And I feel like it's going to be interesting because you're going to have Jared Harper on a two-way contract. Mm. So, you know, he's going to be in the G League. And then you're going to still have Lamar Peters there where 
it's going to be interesting to see like how that point guard battle is going to go in the G League and who's going to pull ahead of who. Yeah. So yeah, I, think- I will say this though, like we only have Harper really for three months as well until he becomes a free agent. And we can actually pick him up on later on, but you know, yeah. just just let you know about that. And we also have Kenny Wooten too. We have Kenny Wooten on a two way contract too. So that's also yeah. something else to think about. But I wonder, if, I wonder if Lamar Peter's sitting there like, yo, where's my bread? I've been killing it over here. Mm-hmm. You wonder you wonder if that's going through his mind. But, yeah, like you said, though, the thing that I like about Lamar Peters is the, the three-point shot, the three-point shot, the three-point shot, three-point shot. Yeah, you can, shoot, you can shoot the rock. 40% from three. And it's not even just 40% from three because you can have guys that shoot 40% from three and they shoot, you know, three three shots a game. Keep it moving. Mm-hmm. No, nah, no, no. This man averaged nine attempts a game. <laughs> nine attempts a game, hit 3.6. And Which is impressive. <laughs> The vi- exactly the volume of threes in which he shoots is impressive. That's the modern NBA offense. So when you compare these two, three pointer from three pointer, to me, advantage Lamar Peters. When you also look at the assist rate, seven point three, five point seven, eh, could also be Lamar Peters, but it also could be that you know uh lamar peters has the ball in his hand a bit more and maybe jared harper gives the hockey sis that could mm-hmm. also be it true that and i think another thing that we have to watch out for is because i just looked up um lamar peters contract situation and it seems like he's out of a contract this season so with the knicks bringing in jared harper i don't know if that means lamar peters is going to move on to another team or if Lamar Peter or if they're gonna re-sign Lamar Peters to a, um another two-way deal or whatnot, I, I don't even know how many two-way deals the Knicks can actually like sign. Two, two, two. So that means if Lamar Peters comes back, then it's gonna be a regular G League contract. So it'll be interesting to see. Like it, it might be a case where Lamar Peters moves on and Jared Harper just takes over as a starting point guard on the G League Knicks on the Westchester Knicks. That could be it because you know usually. When you're a new guy in the scene, you want to kind of make your own moves sometimes. Mm-hmm. And sometimes when that happens, you can ignore what's already right under your nose. So, and that, that does happen. Hopefully, I really want to see Lamar get an actual shot, too. I, it'll be yeah. interesting to see if the Knicks do actually compete with other teams, you know, that aren't in the playoffs. If we can see these two guys actually battle out in practice to see you know, mm-hmm. where this thing goes. I would pay to see that because they're both kind of six feet, 5'11", speedy guards. Lamar Peters with the ill. Listen, why Lamar Peters handles, woo, the the handle package for, Neil, for Lamar Peters is filthy. Filthy, filthy. Yeah, he's nice. Definitely nice. But, yeah, like I was saying before, uh, shooting as Lamar, um, Scoring as Jared, you have a feeling that he might, you know, average probably draws a lot more fouls. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, because I feel like Jared's a bit more aggressive when it comes to like attacking the rim. Mm-hmm. Lamar Peters, so I would probably give the edge to Jared if it comes to like drawing fouls and getting to the free throw line. Exactly. Turnovers as Jared. Yeah. Lamar Peters, I think, averages like three point seven or three point, a pretty high amount. Yeah. But it's close, man. It's very close. Who do you want? Who do you see continuing with the Knicks? Do you like to have Jared Harper here or Lamar yeah. Peters? It's tough, man, because I've I've seen a I've seen a few of you I've seen a few, you know, games with Lamar Peters and he's nice, but then at the same time I look at Jared Harper and like I've actually seen Jared Harper perform in college mm. and then the fact he's killing G League too, I'm like Ah, it's tough, man. I like the way I like the way Jared Harper played in played um at Auburn, man. Like, if I have to choose, probably Jared Harper. I feel like he has a higher ceiling to me because of the athleticism. Yeah, the athleticism and and the fact that 
even though Lamar Peters is a better shooter at the moment, I feel like Jared Harper can at least can get himself to a forty percent range sooner or I think later. Think so. Mm. So that's interesting. You think he gets to a forty percent range? I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I don't claim to be the super duper expert or anything. I'm just doing a little bit of research and looking at some clips and making my decision right decision right now. So take my take my thoughts with a grain of salt. <laughs> yeah, take mine with a grain of salt too. I'm getting <laughs> take my. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, if anything that JLS likes, JLS likes a shooter. And to me, it's possible he can he can climb to thirty five to forty percent. Mm-hmm. I don't think he will. Maybe 37, 38. But I feel like a shooter's a shooter's a shooter. If my guy is hitting forty percent from three on his step backs, and his step back is that filthy, I don't know. I'm gonna go with Lamar Peters. Although I did see Jared hit some pretty crazy step back threes too. Yeah. <laughs> Even though the percentages aren't on, on this on the clip as Lamar, uh, it's pretty impressive. I don't know. Yeah. Let me go. You got guys out on YouTube. Comment below. What do you think, Lamar Peters? I, I mean, I mean, for me, it's tough. Like, I think honestly, it could be it could be a toss up. You can make a case for either player to be honest. You really like, can. Like, there's really no clear cut. Like, who's better? Be honest about it. You really can. You really can. I would pay to see that point guard battle in practice, for sure. Yes. Sir.